Hello everybody. I'm trying to think of something to make a video of and I was thinking about what about my Air Force job. I'm in the Air Force Reserve. I'm a Master Sergeant. I come from the aircraft maintenance background. This here is the ready line. All the service equipment that we need to service the C-5. We uh, have eight C-5s here. We used to have 16 you know, budget cuts and whatnot. So this is where we keep all the support equipment. That building in the distance is the fuel barn. That's where you do the fuel tank repairs. This is the main hangar. We can fit two C5s, one on each end. Um, this is a schoolhouse. That's where the pilots and the flight engineers and stuff, they all come here in the Air Force to learn how to fly the C-5. That's the metal shop. Sheet metal, machinist, welding, so on and so on. Fuel barn in the distance. That's for doing detail fuel barn type work that's very dangerous. Explosive and also uh, we've had a person die many years ago of suffocation. So this vehicle here, that box in the back, goes up in the air about 25 feet. And that's how we load up things in the cockpit and in the passenger areas. Uh, as you can know, the C5 is very tall. There's one in the distance right there. I think it's, it's, it's the largest aircraft in the military uh, here in the uh, United States. But that's what we use to load up the passenger Stuff like food, blankets. Now, this is the building where my office is at. I'm on the second floor. Oddly enough, my civilian job, I work in finance. And it's on the first floor. So all I do is shave my beard and go upstairs and put my uniform on. And I do my military job. Most of the time, you'll find me right here sitting behind the uh, computer. And just making reports, I do spot inspection. Now I do, I'm in safety. So I do spot inspections and do reports and stuff like that. And this is where you'll find me most of the time, unless I'm out, out there doing inspections on the aircraft and stuff. I'm a flight safety NCO. So I deal with stuff of flying. If there's any incidents on the fly, flying side of the house. I specialize in that. These are bird strike kits. I make them and so whenever a bird hits a airplane just like a bug we'll take some samples and send them to the Smithsonian. There's a, a swabs, uh, rubber gloves, alcohol wipes, instructions. They all go in the pouch and whenever they find a, a impact area they'll we will get those and ship them to a Smithsonian. Here is, we're doing a spot inspection. This is not really aviation related. This is for ground safety. I'm with the ground safety people here. And we're doing an inspection of the building of the jet shop. These are, uh, that stuff there, that's to mount the engines and stuff. This here is a nitrogen truck. It has liquid nitrogen there in the back. And we service the C5 uh, nitrogen system. It's called a dewer. And what it does, it suppresses uh, fire in case of emergency in the fuel system. And there's one of the C5 engines. It's the same engine that you'll find on a 747. Now, uh, there on the table next to it, these are all tools that are waiting to go to what's called female which is which is calibration and stuff just to make sure that their tools are accurate scales whatever here's a torque wrench and it will go off to Randolph and get tested there's the engine again it looks a lot of tubes a lot of wires there's the exhaust of course very powerful engine. I believe these are tuned down from the ones that go on the 747s because our aircraft is very old. 
I'm assuming that's why they do it, but it's still very powerful. Well, thank you for watching. Remember us service members that are here on the weekends and doing all over the world. Air Force Reserve. Thank you for watching again. Bye.